what's up? I don't know why I just did that. That was really weird. Mm, it's that time of night where I am hyper. No, I'm not. I'm just awkward, as always. Okay, today I wanted to talk about kind of a interesting topic. Um, I don't know if you've ever been asked this question before, but um, apparently there are two different personality traits. You have your extroverts and then you have your introverts. For the longest time, I thought I was an extrovert. I just spit everything in the extrovert traits. I was just like not an introvert at all. Like no way could I possibly even be a little bit of an introvert. And I even made a whole video last year about being a shy extrovert and how it was like complicated, like being a shy person and being an extrovert and how I was super duper confused and all this stuff like that. I had heard someone talk about something called an ambervert a little while ago, like before I made that video, and they were explaining what an ambervert was and I didn't really like fit it, at least I didn't think that I did, um, because I don't know, it just didn't seem like me at all until I realized I was wrong. I'm just definitely an ambervert. Let me explain to you how I found this out, what an ambervert is if you're a little bit confused because it's kind of just like the gray area that nobody talks about. Okay, Google says that the definition of an ambervert is a person having characteristics of both extrovert and introvert. That is the easiest way to explain to you what it is. The reason that I kind of discovered that I was definitely an ambervert was kind of as I've gotten older and like more lately, like the past maybe year or something like that, I've realized that I have a lot more introvert traits than I used to. I used to be like full-blooded, like completely extrovert, like no way was I an introvert at all, like I mentioned. And then I just started to develop more like introverted traits, but I had enough of like these extroverted traits, so I was just like super duper confused until I took like the personality trait, like test, quiz, whatever, um, and I pretty much got like half and half when I was taking both of them, and so I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna call it what it is. An extrovert is someone who gets their energy from being with people, being going to parties, hanging out with friends, going to the grocery store, just any time where they're surrounded by other people, they gain energy and they need to be around people. And an introvert is someone who gets drained when they're hanging out with a lot of people or just when they're with people and they need some alone time, they need to just chill and like recharge. That is the part of an introvert that I'm definitely not. I have the whole, I'm around people and I get energized. Sometimes, to an extent. Let me explain to you my situation. If I'm with a group of friends or just a group of people that I do not feel comfortable with, like I feel awkward or I just don't know them very well or I'm at a place where I just really don't want to be, I get emotionally drained and I need to recharge and I just need to be away from people and then I just like freak out. But if I'm with people that I love and that I really want to hang out with, I gain energy. If I'm just in some environment where I'm just like super pumped to be there and it was my idea and everything, then I'm just like, yes, I need this. And most of the time I do need people, like I need to be around people. Like honestly, if you knew me, you like, let me explain this better. When I'm in my room, which is all the time, I have the door open and I cannot stand for the door to be closed. I feel like I'm closed off from the rest of the world and I don't know, I just don't feel safe for some weird reason. It's backwards for most people. Most people are like, I don't feel safe unless the door is closed, but if the door is closed, then I can't know what's going on out there. Like I feel isolated, but if the door is open, I can see everything. And then I just feel safer. I don't know, I'm super weird, I'm a weird, weird duck. I feel like it's a classic introverted thing to love cats, and if, if you don't know, I, I love cats, so, I mean. Cats are just super, like, secluded, and they're super, like, independent, and just, like, sassy, and they only like you if they really like you. Like, they're not gonna pretend to like you like a dog does, they're just gonna like you because they like you, and I love that. They're just so, like, honest, you know? Like, honest without even having to say anything. I'm going to read this little article right here about are you an ambivert in case you're confused because I was. I've always struggled with this question, are you an extrovert or an introvert? 
Like most people, I don't quite fit into either category. And this article and video, I'm not going to watch the video, I will introduce you to the concept of an ambivert. That's a creepy photo. I don't know if you can see this, but that, those faces are weird. What the heck? <laughs> Which explanation sounds most like you? I am drawn to people, I get energy from social gatherings, and I'm pretty outgoing. Extrovert. It's drowning, it's, it's draining, not drowning. It's draining to be around lots of people. I prefer peace, solitude, and quiet time. I usually crave alone time in my free time. Introvert. It depends. Ambervert. I will use the terms as labels for the sake of the article, but let's get one thing straight. It's not a label, it's a spectrum. I think you get the gist. You you would know by now if you were an introvert. I mean, if you ever just been like, I don't know, am I an extrovert I'm, if, or am I an introvert? Does it just, just depend on who you're with? Does it depend on what's going on in your life or in your day? Yeah? Then you're an introvert. I do think ambiverts should be talked about more because, like, literally, I had no idea what this was. And I know a lot of people, when I tell them, like, I'm an ambivert, they're kind of confused. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> also, one thing that I'm going to mention is it, it doesn't matter, like, if you're an introvert, you're an extrovert, you're an ambivert, like, you're, you're just you. Like, it's just an easier way to kind of not I don't it's not like a it shouldn't be used as a label which is what it is and it, it shouldn't be used as like an excuse to be like oh I'm an introvert so I can't hang out with all these people because I will be drained or no I'm an extrovert so I can't be in this quiet place because I need people or I'm going to die like it should never be used as an excuse to like not do something or not want to do something just because of your personality trait like that's ridiculous like no so that's what i have to say about it so um you can take i'm gonna link a couple of quizzes down below if you guys want to take them because it's just kind of fun to you know know what you're like yeah i wish my hair would cooperate today it's like second day here so it's like still like clean but it's like a little dirty and it's like lacking volume so I had to like put dry shampoo in it and it's just not doing what I want. I'm getting it done tomorrow though. I'm getting it cut and I'm getting my highlights. We're actually when you watch this it would have been yesterday that I got it done because I filmed two videos in one night because I'm a boss. Bye. I'm leaving. I need to edit. I'll see you later. Bye.